It's a cool yet slightly wet Friday afternoon at the Brimstone Hill National Fortress in Sandy Point. Of course, you know, this is a World Heritage Site, but there's a special occasion this afternoon, this Friday afternoon. What it is, it is a special reenactment here on Brimstone Hill involving reenactors from the U.S. who are dressed up as French soldiers and English red coat soldiers from the 18th century. And what they're reenacting is quite special. There's a, a good turnout here of local people here to see the reenactment. It's been done for two days, done on Thursday and the second one here on Friday. And what they're reenacting is an English couple that was captured, uh, captured by French troops in the 18th century. And they're reenacting the scene where African slaves on St. Kitts are helping this English couple to escape from the French troops and of course they are protected by the British Redcoat soldiers. It's quite interesting, everything looks just like what it would look like in the 18th century. Women wearing the same kind of costume and, and, and garments that they wore during those times. We also have uh, reenactors dressed as Redcoat soldiers carrying with them and using with them muskets and rifles that are that work with gunpowder, actual gunpowder. Right. So we'll be talking with the reenactors, but we're going to give you right now a scene of, of what transpired at the reenactment on Friday. Perfect. Volley fire. Better help. 
Talk now with the general manager of the Brimstone Hill National Fortress, Mr. Cameron Gill, who will tell us more about this reenactment and how it came to be. And after all the hard work that went into planning this one time, we started planning in 2010, and all the hard work has finally paid off. So it was fun, and the crowd participation, etc., the, the turnout, and the interaction between the reenactors and the members of the audience. So it was it was worthwhile experience. We will, we are already starting planning to try and have one again next three years. In 2015, the Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park Society will be celebrating its 50th anniversary. The society, the society was founded in April 1965. So we are working on having a reenactment in 2015 as part of our 50th anniversary celebrations, and we're hoping to have one every three years after that. The reason it can't be every year is one, it might look simple, but all of the logistical planning goes into bringing the reenactors here. Also, these, this reenactment group does reenactments for television networks and, and they walk around the world in the US, the UK, Europe, etc., and Canada. Now, we're going to speak with some of the reenactors. We're going to start with this person here who represents a red coat British soldier from the 18th century. Uh, my name is Glenn Lundy. Uh, I'm uh, from uh, New York State, and uh, in real life, uh, I work in a bank. And uh, we do this uh, for a hobby, um, mainly in the United States. This is our, our our first time in the Caribbean. You know, we we do we've been in Canada as well, but uh, we do this all over the Northeast United States. And uh, you know, it's just a hobby that we, we like to do through uh, you know typically throughout the summer months. Um, this is a, a magnificent sight. I've never really seen anything quite like it. Uh, we don't have anything that, this size and scale in in North America. Uh, we're in, in the States or in Canada, and uh, the, uh, the the views are fantastic. Uh, St. Kitts has been a, a great island. I you know, didn't know all that much of, about it, but uh, it's been just it's just been great. Everyone's been uh, so nice. Right. Now I'm going to speak with one of the representatives from the French troops. My name is Misha Setner. I live in uh, the United States, up in uh, the state of Vermont, on the Canadian border. Uh, for a profession, I'm actually a biologist. <laughs> Uh, but this is my first time down in St. Kitts. Uh, loving it, having a great time. Uh, normally, I represent an English soldier, but today I took off the red coat and uh, put on just my regular whites right. to represent a French soldier. Right. How, how was the experience? <laughs> uh, great. It was it was fun. There's uh, the number of people out here, impressive showing. Uh, it's just everyone's very happy to have us here. It's it's a it's a fun experience. Right. Now we're going to speak with one of the ladies that uh, wore the, the garments and the, the costume from back in the 18th century, one of the women that was rescued in this reenactment. Hey, my name is Sharon Albin. Right. And um, you play the role of? Uh, earlier today, I played the role of a British woman who was living on the island uh, and who was being escorted back to the fort, to the British. What is about the clothing? What was it like getting the costume, um, wearing it? How does it feel actually? I'm sure it's not really um, like, like a regular dress. It's not, not at all. You have to wear um, several undergarments. It changes your posture. The clothing that they wore was made of natural fibers. Now we're going to speak to the reenactors from St. Kitts that represented the African slaves that were involved in that particular rescue mission. And uh, just to note that these members, uh, these reenactors from St. Kitts, are actually members of the St. Kitts Nevis Defense Force. Well, I'd like to, to show some people who never know about the, the, the history of what it was all about. So I hope for, for do that, for, for show them, the fight for the country. It has been um, a tremendous experience to be reenact a part of our history, an important part. We as Kittishans need to be proud of our country because it was actual Kittishans who fought for our country. 
So it has been a very interesting afternoon here at the Brimstone Hill Fortress. It's also interesting to see the local people interacting with the reenactors. A lot of them taking pictures, talking with them, uh, getting demonstration of how uh, in an 18th, 18th century rifle that works with gunpowder, how it actually works. Reporting from Brimstone Hill for the Win of M News, I'm Andre Hughes.